Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review 12 Hour Shift, the directorial debut of Brea Grant, uh, which will be released on October 2nd, courtesy of Magnet. Um, it is kind of a grotesque comedy of errors um, in a film that has a lot going for it, but ultimately uh, doesn't pay off as well as it should. Uh, that said, anytime I get to see Angela Bettis in a lead role, uh, I, I'm there to see it, uh, who I most closely associate, uh, obviously, with her uh, collaborations with Lucky McKee. Um, here she stars as Mandy, a nurse in 1999 Arkansas, who's about to work a double, as the uh, title indicates. Uh, she uh, is not averse to uppers to get through these shifts, but right away we learn that along with uh, one of her co-workers, Karen, played by Nakia Gamby-Turner, uh, they're kind of uh, part of a clandestine uh, black market uh, organ uh, ring. Uh, they have a situation at the hospital where they uh, either take from corpses or kill people without family members and take their organs. Uh, while Regina, who's uh, cousin by family or cousin through marriage to Angela Bettis, uh, transports those set organs to uh, the buyers. Uh, of course, uh, the situation goes off the rails, and uh, a new organ is needed when Regina loses them, who's kind of this dumb blonde type character, and then all kinds of uh, strange things ensue in what plays like a comedy version of Halloween 2, uh, the Jamie Lee Curtis version. Uh, David Arquette is also on hand as a uh, prisoner who has killed a cop, so he's chained to his bed. Uh, of course, Ar Arquette's uh, wife has produced the film. Uh, it was shot uh, by the same person who did the score, Matt Glass. Uh, and I will say that although it might be the film trying to make it look like it was a film from uh, this period uh, of digital filmmaking at the time, uh, it its cheapness all kind of also kind of lessens the energy, and there are key moments where it feels like a more pronounced soundtrack would have assisted. Uh, Bettis plays it kind of straight, but she gets some nice little kooky moments. But the scene steal the scene stealers are really Gamby Turner and Chloe Farnworth as Regina, um, who's this fun daffy blonde. Um, overall, I would give the film two out of five stars. Hey, this is Eric from MyOwnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.